What's up guys, Maniacs here, and welcome to The Glitcher. Now, this game just came out today on Game Joel, and it looks really cool. I really love this background music just already starting right here at the beginning. Now, what it is, is it's the game that's still in development, so it's still trying to figure out where it's going, but apparently it's like... It's supposed to be a puzzle game, but it's not a puzzle game, and the developer, like, kind of insinuated that in the description. So there's really nothing that tells you exactly what this game is. And I really wanted to check it out because it looked kind of pretty. It's got very basic but very pretty graphics. And, like I said, the music is really awesome. I love this background music just right here at the beginning. So, anyway, this game looks cool. I want to check it out, so let's go ahead and play it. Now, uh, one thing that I wanted to point out is to... Mo is there going to be a cutscene or something? Wow, okay. God, this music is really nice. I like angelic choir stuff. It's kind of cool. What the... What? Uh, am I, I'm, what is... Uh, am I falling? What the hell's going on? Oh, yeah, that was another thing I talked about. Like, there's no gravity in this world. Okay, every time I bounce, it's like I jump on a bass drum. Uh, there's no gravity, so... It's like a platformer jump okay oh. okay that was world one this is really cool the colors are a little bright so it is kind of hard to tell what you can step on and what you can't but it's really cool like once i go to that the whole world shifts um i can't remember what game that is like this that came out a little while back oh oh i'm falling i don't want to fall up uh, uh mm. okay i don't know how far this is gonna tilt is it gonna keep tilting uh, okay, I'm like in the wall. All right, well, I'll just let it orient to itself. That's this is really okay. Apparently, that was the end. All right, so anyway, like I was talking about. So okay, so apparently, if you step on one of these, that's when it starts to tilt the world. This is a really cool. Oh, I'm gonna fall. I died. Damn it. Okay, that was sudden. This is really cool. This is a really neat... Okay, why do I keep failing that? There's no sprint or anything like that. Oh my god, it's like my fucking... God, it's like your graphics card is shattering right there in your computer as you're... Oh god, I fell off again. Wow, this is really fast. God, that is really disconcerting. Uh, anyway, like I was saying, I, uh, tomorrow... I, uh, there's still... Fuck, I keep failing. Oh, this is, this is kind of difficult. What a... There's no gravity, so... And I, there's no other controls. Um... Am I supposed to go slow? Uh, no, I keep- I, I'm probably not supposed to jump. That probably doesn't help. Alright, so what I've been trying to say for like the past couple minutes is I'm still going to be releasing Alien Isolation tomorrow. Don't worry about that. I'm actually going to record this once I finish uploading this. I do have to record it tonight mainly because tomorrow, um, I have actually behind this backdrop right behind me on a table, I've got a bunch of new computer parts that I'm going to be installing. So I'm basically, like, there's nothing wrong with the computer I have now, but the case is too small. If anybody knows what an Alien X51 case is like, it's only, like, this fucking big. It's very small. So the problem with it is, it does have a lot of stuff in it, which is nice because I'm just going to basically take a bunch of the parts that I have in my computer now and transfer them over to another case. But the problem is that the the I keep failing I'm sorry I'm trying to talk over it it's kind of frustrating but I'm trying to talk um if you want to upgrade like the power supply for an alienware computer you have to buy a new motherboard because the motherboard and the the heart the uh the power supply itself are like tied together and you can't incorporate another uh power supply with an alienware motherboard for whatever reason I guess I do it so people don't mess with their stuff but anyway, I want to get a new case because, like, two weeks ago, I was playing StarCraft 2, and my computer just suddenly shut down. Apparently, it overheated. I didn't even know it would do that. And it wasn't, I mean, it was pretty hot outside, so it was kind of hot up here where I'm recording now. But I had my AC on, so it wasn't, how did I get over there that other time that I fucked, I must have glitched into the wall. Alright, the only thing I ever added to it was I put an SSD in with it, into it, which, if this tells you anything of how, what size those things are, I had to Velcro... Literally two ships of velcro. I had to velcro the SSD to the CD drive to get it to stay in there That's how much room there. That's how like little room there is in an x51 case and it's really annoying So I bought a new case and I bought a bunch of other components and everything I had to buy a new motherboards and I finally bought the new Okay, this is really pissing me off now. I bought a new power supply so I've got to kind of basically take everything out of that and move it into my new one. So I don't know how long that's going to take me to do because, I've, like I've said, I've never done it before. And I'm going to take my... Oh my god, the world keeps tilting. If I stay to the right, maybe I'll glitch into... Maybe I'll glitch onto the top. Uh, 
No, why do I keep falling? My care I'm holding left and my character keeps sliding right. Like, I understand that I'm on a slope, but it's really annoying that I can't, like, compensate for it. But anyway, that's gonna- I'm going to record Alien Isolation tonight and I'm going to upload it, but I'm not gonna, like, post it until tomorrow. Um, so that'll be up. But when- after I finish doing everything, I'm going to, um, redo my computer, like, restore it to factory defaults? What the fuck? This is pissing me off. And it's that way, because I, I like to do that every once in a while. I, I like to do it every couple of months. I like to restore everything and, like, re-download all the programs and everything like that that I might need. Seriously, this is fucking bullshit. Like, what the fuck? Your character sometimes will glitch into the wall, and I can't stay alive long enough to... I, I keep fucking go- Okay, so every time I make it, I'm glitching into the wall. So when I glitch into the wall, I'm stuck on the wall. And I can't go back right when I need to go right. Alright, like right here. I'm just gonna keep walking. Oh my god, I actually made it that time. Holy fuck, I was not expecting that. So anyway, I don't know how long that's going to take me because it does take quite a while to reinstall all the programs and everything that I have. Um, so, oh god damn it. This is really trippy when the, the, uh, how far, uh, how, where do I, how far do I need to go? Um, hello, where, is this gonna stop, or, was I, oh, I had to go through that hole, motherfucker. Um, so I don't know how long it's going to take me to transfer everything over and get everything working right, and then once I transfer everything over, god damn it, I, um, I'm gonna reset it, so, I don't know how long that's actually going to... Okay, apparently I was supposed to go through that doorway. It didn't tell me that. I don't know how long it's going to take to, you know, go through the whole resetting process and downloading all the programs and everything. So, the indie game might come out late if it comes out. Like, I, I understand that I like to... I want to do... I like to do a video every day. But if I don't... If I don't release an indie game tomorrow, I just wanted to let you guys know why that was. It's not that I forgot or anything like that. It's just that I, my computer might not be done resetting itself by then. So, I'm going to try my best to get it done early enough. I'm going to, I mean, literally tomorrow I'm going to wake up and I'm going to start doing on that. Because I don't have anything else planned tomorrow. But I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to do it because I've never actually done anything like this. It's just essentially like me ha building my own computer. And I've always wanted to do it, but... I had to buy a pre-built one because I didn't have the money to do it then, and my dad, who was really nice enough to, um, alright, this is gonna keep tilting, so I don't know how far it's supposed to go, oh, wow, apparently I was supposed to wait, my dad was nice enough to, um, uh, uh, the fuck? Uh, uh, apparently I have the ability to change the wall now? Oh! That's cool, so if I hold left mouse but but left mouse button, okay, if you walk into those, you die, okay? Good to know. Oh, that's really cool. So if I hold right mouse button, the world tilts to the right. And if I hold left, the world tilts to the, to the left. Oh, that that is, that is really neat. I know that sounds really stupid to say, but that is very, very, very cool design. I, of course, I just died right there, but this is, this is pretty... This is, like, awesome. Developer, like, my hat is off to you. Except when I fail, like that, almost. Um, but this is a really cool design. Like, I've never played a game where you could, uh, uh... Where you could essentially bend the world to your will in order to get through. This is a really cool puzzle game. Now, it's definitely a puzzle game, but you can manipulate the world to your benefit. That's, that's what's really cool. And I really like that design. That's a very, it's a very weird, but it's a very cool design, and I like it a lot. Uh, uh, I don't know how far I actually have to go. Do I have to jump over there, and then fall down here, and then, I'm assuming I have to keep bending the world around until I can get into whatever this is. Okay, this will take me to... Th there we go. Wow! This is actually really cool. I can actually figure this puzzle game out because the way that it makes this a really good puzzle game is, granted, you have the ability to bend the world to your will, but you can also... Um, you can also see like where your final objective is supposed to be. I wonder if that's where I need to go. Um... Hmm... Uh... Nope. Apparently you can't make that jump. Okay, good to know. But that's probably where I need to go. So, 
but yeah, this is this is really cool. Like, this is a cool design. I've never done this in a video. I've never like done a never done never played a video game where you could bend the world like this is. This is a really cool design, and I really I, I'm enjoying myself playing it. Not a lot of puzzle games that I can say that about, and it's not that it's not that I don't like to play puzzle games. I really do. Like I said, Portal 2 is one of my favorite games that I've ever one of my favorite games that I've ever played. But uh. It's just, I'm bad at it. I really am. And I'm curious if somebody would like to do a co-op playthrough of that game. I have somebody in mind, but I haven't asked her yet. I bet you, oh, she might be able to guess it. Me just saying that. But, uh, that would be kind of fun to do. A co-op let's play in that game. Because, like I said, I suck at it. But I played the, oh, okay, so I'm tilting this way now. I have played the co-op before. I played it with a buddy of mine. Um, but I never got very far. Like, we never, I don't think we ever even beat it because he, he, uh, he actually follows me on, or he's actually one of the subscribers on, one of my subscribers on YouTube, um, and he's very good at Portal. He does a lot of, like, speed runs and stuff, and he's actually kind of, well, he's that way more popular than I am. He's got way more subscribers and everything like that, but he's very, very good at Portal, and he, like, he was nice enough to help me out, but he does not like playing with me because I'm terrible at it, and he's, like, basically holding my hand throughout the whole thing. Granted, he didn't mind doing it, but I felt bad because it's like, oh, how do I figure this out? Help! And he's just like, oh my god, you have to do this, this, and this. I'm like, what? How did you get over there? And he's like, oh, you just gotta jump over here. And it's like, I, what? Uh huh? But anyway. Yeah, so, oh. So I don't know how far I actually, oh, oh, no, no. Fa. <laughs> Damn it! Urgh! I fucked that up again. Uh. Okay. So now that I, uh, 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 no, 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 I fucking spun it the wrong way. Damn it. This is a really cool puzzle game though. I don't know how much of this I'm going to actually have to cut out because I'm so bad, but, uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Uh, hopefully I'm not making an ass of myself because I tend to do that a lot in video games. Alright, so I need to get in... Eh, eh. Okay, apparently just going through the doorway make counts. Alright. Fuck gravity, huh? Oh, E? The hell? How did I do that? Why does it keep exploding? Uh... Uh, yeah, exactly. What? Fuck gravity, huh? Huh. Sorry, my mouse was on the other my other monitor. What what is this? What why is this is really cool looking. Oh my god, it's really trippy if you like zoom in on it, but Oh oh I fucking died. But I'm curious what I'm supposed to do with that. It said Oh jump on it. Oh, okay. All right, well, I'm that um, wow. All right, so, and then I can, oh, this is cool. Oh, oh, don't fall off, please. And then if I hit E, uh, I failed. Wow, okay, that was bad. All right, let me fucking get rid of that again, and then this thing will drop, and then I killed myself. This is really cool, but anyway, like I, I think I said it, but yeah, Alien Isolation will be up tomorrow. Don't worry about that. I'm going to do that tonight. Um, granted, I know you guys, I, I don't like really recording it the night before, because I, oh my god, where did that, Oh come on, really? Now I gotta kill myself, because it freaked out. Um, so that'll be up tomorrow, but if there isn't any game in the afternoon, I do apologize now. Uh, but I'm definitely gonna try and get one out, it just depends, like I said, how long it takes me to get everything situated, because it does take quite a while to re-download all the updates and install everything that I have, because I do have quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of, um... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Quite a bit of programs on my computer to do, like, when it comes to recording and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, if it's going to take me a little while to get all that stuff situated back to where I want it. So I'm going to do my best, but, you know, alright. So this is probably going to be the last level. I don't know if it's actually the last level of the game, but this is going to be the last level that I'm going to play. Because it is, it, it is really cool. It's very fun to play. But, uh, alright, now what do I do? This is really hard. 
like trying to to figure out what exactly it means by the arrows because granted it does point me in the direction that it wants me to go I don't know what that's supposed to do am I supposed to go that way how do I how do I do that how do I get over there is it telling it, it's telling me to all right oh my god I tilted the world and I fell off that's the frustrating thing about when it comes to tilting the world is it's cool that you can do it but it's frustrating because like I said your character stays stationary so the world is essentially being moved out underneath you oh that's what happens okay so basically the uh the thing moves like the the level essentially tilts itself so what way am i supposed how do i get over there um Uh, 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 gotta kind of tease it. It is kind of frustrating that you can't... Because I gotta... I gotta... Uh, uh, please don't fall off. Okay. Can I get over there now? Uh, what is that beeping? I don't understand what that's supposed to be. Do I have to go through here? Oh, okay, cool. So that survived. Alright, so... Wow, there's a bunch of those cubes now. So anyway, this game was very, very, very... Wow, I don't know why I said very so many times. This game was really cool. So I really hope you guys check the game out. I will put a link to the game in the description below. Check it out. It's a lot of fun. I don't know how many levels there actually are. But it is a decent sized uh, download when it comes to game or when it comes to indie games in itself. But definitely check the game out. It's a lot of fun. I suck at puzzle games and I was able to get past or get up to level 10. I don't know how many levels are past this, but you guys got the gist of what the game actually is. And it was a lot of fun to play. The music is really cool, really calming. I like the style of just like ambient, like calm music. I don't know. It's just something that's always resonated with me. So anyway, check the game out for yourself. Let me know what you guys think of this game in the description below because I had a lot of fun playing it. It's one of the... the first puzzle games that I've played on my channel that I actually enjoy playing because it's a lot of fun to play. This is a great example of a, a puzzle game. It, it, it is definitely a puzzle game, but it's like a puzzle platform game that's good for people who aren't good at them because, granted, it does give me the, the ability to, to glitch the world around me in a way, but it gives me a clear goal. Okay, you're trying to get to this doorway. Okay, now I have to figure out how I can get over there so I can jump over here. Okay, I failed that time, but next time I know that I got to tilt the world. So it's really cool how it kind of gives you, it, it play it, like it's trial and error, but it plays with the whole fact that you have another shot and it's really, really quick to get back there. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Go check the game out for yourself. And that's all the time I got for today, guys. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Check out some of the other videos that I've done and I will see you guys next time. Maniacs out. Possession in it. Oh, yeah, because they were really into this. Uh, ah! God damn it, Ron! Oh, my God. Oh, this is this. Is